Whoever altered the data banks is here. What are we looking for, sir? With Kim Cattrall. Two pairs of gravity boots. She wouldn't do it, would it? Now it's a who, who done it? All right, hey everyone, welcome back to Popcorn Roulette. We are about to, we're about to close out our Star Trek journey and I am really sad. <laughs> we're watching Star Trek VI. My name is Cami. thank you for joining us. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit all the notifications, make sure you got the bell and you get all the notifications for the channel. Um, as I said, we're getting ready to watch Star Trek VI and I'm highly emotional because this is the last one with the original cast and I'm not okay. I'm not okay with it. <laughs> if you want to watch the full watch along, that'll be over on Patreon so you can watch the whole movie with me. <laughs> and with that, let's get into Star Trek. All right, guys, we're gonna do the credits and we're gonna do it right. I hope. <laughs> oh, it's the last one. Poor Gene Roddenberry. Oh, did he die? Yeah. Paramount Pictures. <sighs> Nicholas Meyer film. Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country. Oh, the music's William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy, DeForest Kelly, James Suhan, Walter Koenig, <laughs> Nichelle Nichols, George Takai. <laughs> Mark Leonard. All right, Mark. David Warner. Whoa. Kim Cattrall. Okay. Rosanna DeSoto. I feel like I've heard her name before. And Christopher Plummer. <laughs> Kirkwood Smith, Brock Peters. We're doing your names too. Paul Rosal. Rosalie? <laughs> John? Oh man, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Mary Jo Slater. Casting. Cliff Elderman. The music is sounding pretty epic. Oh, it's going down already. Thought I'd have time to peel my little orange here. Maybe? Herman Zimmerman. Yes, I remember your name from the other Star Trek. Okay, we got time. <laughs> Executive producer, Leonard Nimoy. Story by... Le I love how Leonard had such a hand in some of these. And he did a really good job. Wasn't he heavily involved in um, Voyage Home? Did he direct that one? He directed one of them. Okay. I'm so ready. Nice. Stardate 9521.6. I wore my short, guys, so I could match them. <laughs> After three years, I've concluded my first assignment as master of this vessel. Oh. Okay, Sulu. What are you this? We've completed our survey of the entire sector. Oh, watch out. Get that tea, man. What's going on? My God. What is this? Oh. She's not answering her help. Where is Kirk? Checking all systems, Captain. Don't tell me that was any meteor shower. Negative, sir. Subspace shockwave originated at bearing 323 mark. Shockwave, okay. It's Praxis, sir. It's a Klingon moon. Oh, Klingons again. I cannot confirm the existence of Praxis. Oh. 
Praxis. Oh. I'm getting a message from Praxis. That's where the explosion originated. <laughs> oh. There has been an incident on Praxis. However, everything is under control. We have no need for assistance. An incident? Do we report this, sir? Well, yeah. Are you kidding? Right? Are you kidding? <laughs> yes. Yes, we're reporting this. Maybe they're throwing us a retirement party. <laughs> if we're all here, where's Sulu? Captain Sulu. On assignment. Captain Sulu. Where's Spock? There's an empty chair there. There he is. My favorite. Literally. A Federation starship monitored an explosion on the Klingon moon Praxis. They believe it was caused by overmining. Overmining. They will have depleted their supply of oxygen in approximately 50 Earth years. Oh, wow. At the behest of the Vulcan ambassador, I opened a dialogue with Gorkin, Chancellor of the Klingon. Gorkin. Proposes to commence negotiations at once. This is serious. Klingons would become the alien trash of the galaxy. Oh, dang, that's harsh. The opportunity here is to bring them to their knees. I mean, you could maybe, like, make peace, be friends. Captain Kirk, I don't know. the Klingons have never been trustworthy. I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> we have volunteered to rendezvous with the Klingon vessel, which is bringing Chancellor Gorkon to Earth. I feel like if they help them in this way, though, that would be a very impactful. I have personally vouched for you in this matter, Captain. They're animals, Jim. Mm. There is an historic opportunity here. Don't believe it. Don't trust them. They are dying. Yeah. Let them die. <gasps> Come on. <laughs> I'm on Spock's side, you know. Captain on the bridge. As you were, Lieutenant. Valeris, sir. We were told that you needed a helmsman, so I there she is. Ken Cattrall. The lieutenant was the first Vulcan to be graduated at the top of her class at the academy. You must be very proud. I don't believe so, sir. She's a Vulcan, all right. I wonder how old she was here. Control, this is Enterprise. Requesting permission to depart. You heard the order, Lieutenant. Mm -hmm. Aye, sir. <laughs> the way she's turning around, like... Ah, oh, Scotty. Here we go. Captain's log, star date 9522.6. I've never trusted Klingon. Oh. And I never will. Well, that's true. I mean, that does give him a little more reason to be angry. <laughs> Seems to me our mission to escort the Chancellor of the Klingon High Council to a peace summit is problematic at best. I'm curious how the Klingons are going to respond. There's a depiction from ancient Earth mythology. The expulsion from paradise. Why keep it in your quarters? It is a reminder to me that all things end. I was going to say it's a reminder for him. This will be my final voyage on board this vessel as a member oh. of the crew. Final voyage? So do they continue on after this? All officers to the bridge. Trying to see like how her character will develop. Everyone's a little bit suspicious. Not sure if, how they should feel about it. Hailing frequencies. It's very serious. Oh, that was. I am Chancellor Gorkon. Almost looks like the actor from the last film. Chancellor, we've been ordered to escort you through Federation space to your meeting on Earth. Thank you, Captain. But as a Klingon. We would be delighted to accept your gracious invitation. Oh. We'll make arrangements to have you beamed aboard at 1930 hours. I shall look forward to that. Well, hard to read. <laughs> Guess who's coming to dinner? Wow, their ship is a lot bigger. <laughs> Energize. 
Energize. I love it. Coming for dinner. <laughs> Looking tough. You have my thanks, Chancellor. Gentlemen. I love how Spock approaches everything. I have so wanted to meet you, Captain. I'm not sure how to take that. <laughs> Sincere admiration, Kirk. From one warrior to another. He's very skeptical. I think you might enjoy a brief tour. How is this gonna go? I'm just not sure. I feel like in the end it'll wind up okay, like... Maybe they can make peace. They all look alike. What about that smell? You men have work. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma then snap to it. Huh? It's like, let's not go around smack talking. Some blue food right there. <laughs> Everybody's confused about the napkin. <laughs> Maybe not confused, but they're highlighting it. You have not experienced Shakespeare until you have read him in the original Klingon. <laughs> <laughs> Kirk is just not. In space, all warriors are cold warriors. <laughs> Kirk is so just not having it. In any case, we know where this is leading. The annihilation of our culture. That's not true. No. No. Uh oh. To be or not. To be. That is the question which preoccupies our people, Captain Kirk. I feel like they're ready to fight. I see we have a long way to go. Yeah. Looks like it. <clears throat> Looks like it. Chancellor. Madam. Captain. Well, I mean, it was nice of them to have them for dinner. Parting is such sweet sorrow. This guy I don't know if I trust. Have we not heard the chimes? I feel like he's poking at Kirk. Dachmachek. <laughs> His reaction. <laughs> I knew they were gonna do like, glad that's over with. I'm gonna sleep this off. <laughs> Please let me know if there's some other way we can screw up tonight. I'm going to go find a pot of black coffee. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep it off. Okay. Spock's like, all right. <laughs> One eyebrow raise, like this man. All he needs. Says everything. <laughs> A note to the galley. Romulan ale no longer to be served at diplomatic function. <laughs> Didn't go well. Captain. Not doing it again. Join me on the bridge. Oh. It's like I'm trying to take a nap, man. Can't you see I've gone into relax mode? Spock, I'm really tired. We are reading an enormous amount of neutron radiation. Where? Strangely enough, it appears to be emanating from us. Enterprise? Uh-oh. Say what? What did they do? Did they do you know something? know anything about a radiation surge? Sir? Check on. Only the size of my head. Oh, that Romulan. No! Uh-oh, things are not going to be good. It looks like they shot them. We have fired on the Chancellor's ship. Torpedo route. Please confirm. How? Uhura monitor. I sir. Who is trying to mess this up? Confirm, sir. Who did it? <laughs> oh, this is bad. This is real bad. I'm upset about this. How are they gonna prove to them that they were innocent not trying to shoot them? According to inventory, we're still fully loaded. Okay. What happened? Who is this? They're being attacked. Okay. Not that I want this to happen here, but I'm glad that they're not going to be suspicious of them. Man. I mean, obviously not them doing this. So, who are these guys? Can they help them? I mean... Uh-uh. Don't do it. Man, there's gonna be no...
no proof now that Starship Enterprise didn't do it. Right, what if they still blame them? Because all these guys are dead. There's been some weapons firing and a lot of shouting. Well, yeah. Oh, this guy's still alive. Ooh. Have you not a shred of decency in you, Kirk? Oh, see. And you blatantly defile that piece. Was he behind it? I shall blow you out of the stars. I feel like he might have been behind it. We haven't fired. Have we? According to our data banks, we have. No. Captain, they're coming about. Well, yeah, okay, not everybody's dead. I'm, why am I thinking that small <laughs> group of people is the, we're the only ones? Enterprise surrenders. <sighs> Are we firing torpedoes? I wish I knew. Who was aboard that did this? What? You have the call. I am responsible for involving you in this. I will go. No, I'll go. You'll be responsible for getting me out of this. I always respect these decisions. <clears throat> I give you my word, I don't understand what has happened. We're here to help. They came unarmed. Come on. Rope ya! <laughs> I can't believe I'm like, oh no, there's no proof. Chancellor Gorka. Is he still alive, little? With a direct torpedo hit, you crippled our entire gravitational field. And two of your Starfleet crew beamed aboard wearing magnetic boots and did this. Let me help. Yeah, come on. Why would they come aboard to help if they were the ones that did it? I'm going to need some light. Can we get him up on this table? Be careful, guys. Hold him while I stabilize. Oh, man. He's really... Help him. Oh. Oh no. Come on, Bones. Oh, this looks bad. Come on. You can do it, Bones. <laughs> Come on. You got it? Did he? Is he... Yes. <laughs> Good. Don't let it end this way, kid. Oh. See, he really wants peace. Don't die. Don't die. Dang. The excitement only lasted a moment. I feel like the patch guy didn't really want to make peace, so maybe he staged something so that they would get in trouble. I'm placing you under arrest. You were charged with assassinating the Chancellor of the High Council. Well, I mean, they're doing everything they can. According to our data bank, this ship fired those torpedoes. No way! I sympathize, Mr. Scott, but we need evidence. We need evidence, and we need to find the culprit. The Chancellor of the High Council is dead. Yep, pretty bad. <laughs> pretty May bad. I remind you that he and Dr. McCoy boarded Kronos One of their own free will? Whoa, this guy is a whole look. I have ordered a full-scale investigation. In the meantime, in the meantime. <laughs> Mr. President, I share a measure of personal responsibility in this matter, mm. but I am obliged to confirm my esteemed colleague's legal interpretation. Legal interpretation? <laughs> you can't possibly believe that James Kirk assassinated the Chancellor of the High Council. Right? Thank you. We are experiencing technical malfunction. All backup systems inoperative. Excellent. I, I, I mean... Excellent. <laughs> You have my sincerest condolences on your recent loss. We hope you'll be our guest here on Earth. After recent events, you will understand if I say I prefer a neutral site. And in the interests of security, let us keep the location secret for now. Oh. They are not trusting anything now. Remember what your father wanted. Yep, I remember. Your father was killed for what he wanted. This guy, I do not trust him. Kirk will pay for my father's death. Why don't you find out if he's responsible first? <laughs> we need something to happen. That Enterprise fired on Kronos One without provocation. What are they holding? 1930 hours. That same evening. 
Of course, this guy is the one presenting. And two Starfleet crewmen came walking towards me. Come on, you know that. Mm. Colonel Wolf, we are interested in facts, not theories. Yes, thank you. They appeared to be wearing magnetic boots. Gravity boots. Yeah, put it together, Spock. I know he, he will. What is your current medical status? Oh, he's like not funny. I believe that you consumed rather generous amount of Romulan ale in the officer's mess on the night in question. Am I right, Doctor? Objection! Mm. We all did. All of us. Yeah? I didn't have the medical knowledge I needed for Klingon anatomy. He tried. You say you are due for retirement. You saw him. I tried to save him. Come on. What would your favorite author say? Let us sit upon the ground and tell sad stories of the death of the king. He said he was looking forward to meeting him. Tell us that you plan to take revenge for the death of your son. That's not true. Objection! Captain Kirk has not been identified as the assassin. Thursday. I like this guy, at least. He's trying. I've never been able to forgive him for the death of my boy. And... I've never trusted Clinton. Ah, just a bad snippet right there. Admiral Kirk was broken for taking matters into his own hands in defiance of regulations of the law. Do you deny being devoted to these charges? Don't wait for the translation! Answer me now! Man. I cannot deny it. You were devoted? Yes. For insubordination? On occasion. On occasion. And if it should be proved that members of your crew did, in fact, carry out such an assassination. Jim, they're setting us up. Come on, try to perceive it the right way, lady. I am responsible for the conduct of the crew under my command. He's being very honorable in his answers, you know. Guilty as charged. Dang it! Ugh. He knows it's not true. <laughs> he was wanting it. There to spend the rest of your natural lives. So they're banishing them. Throughout the galaxy is the alien's graveyard. See, they have to prove that they didn't do it. You guys get to work. He's like, that's my friend. I'm not gonna let this happen. We fired. That is not possible. All weapons visually are counted for, sir. All weapons visually. If there were a ship beneath us, the Klingons would have seen her. Would they? If they had the shields down. What if it was a clean on ship? A bird of prey. A bird of prey. <laughs> the eyebrow raise. They'll say that we're so desperate to exonerate the captain that we'll say anything. And they would be correct. We have no evidence. Yeah, you gotta get the evidence. Why would they fire on their own president? It's the, the eye patch guy, I'm telling you. Whoever altered the databanks is here. Oh. What are we looking for, sir? With Kim control Two there? pairs of gravity boots. She wouldn't do it with it. Now it's a who, who done it? Well, they're carrying out their sentence. Is that where they're putting them? Down there? <laughs> that was for him to stand on. On the surface, nothing can survive. <laughs> oh. Work badly, and you will die. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> I laugh because I'm like thinking about the dog that they dressed up to. They're gonna be slaves. <laughs> he wants your obedience to the Brotherhood of Aliens. He's got it. And your coat. I'm afraid not. He needs it. And the palm skin. Yeah, let it go, man. And oh. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, thanks. You're Kirk and McCoy, I presume. 
She knows them. Somebody up there wants you out of the way. Yep. Yep. Would it not have been logical to have left them on guard? Logical. Without the boots, they would have floated off the Klingon trend. Mm. Why not simply leave? Vaporize them. <laughs> I love the way he says things. Like this? Don't do it to the food. Searched. If my surmise is correct, those boots will cling to the killer's necks like a pair of Tiberian bats. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, I heard that. <clears throat> Mr. Scott. Scott. I understand you're having difficulty with the warp drive. How much time do you require for repair? The assassins will surely find a way to dispose of their incriminating footwear. Their incriminating footwear. If I know the captain, by this time, he is deep into planning his escape. You think so? I don't know. <laughs> he seems a little preoccupied at the moment. Dang. This happens on a daily here. Ow! That's truly a terrible place for them to be. <laughs> I love it. He's got so much moxie. <laughs> It's like when he was fighting in um, Search for Spock. So good. Oh. Oh, he's like that. That was the worst spot to hit me. You all right, Jim? I think so. <laughs> Not everybody keeps their genitals in the same place, Captain. Wow. Do you want to get out of here? Yes. <laughs> There's got to be a way. I think they can trust her. I. I <laughs> I trust her. I hope I'm accurate on that. <laughs> I've been wrong before. Kobayashi Maru. Bones. Kobayashi Maru. It never even occurred to me to take Gorkin at his word. Spock was right. Yeah, again. He's like, Whoever killed Gorkin is bound to attempt another assassination. Yeah. Yeah. Unless we can get out of here. What was that? Oh, okay. Yep, I thought it might be her. It's up to you to get us off the surface before we freeze. Yep. Can you? Yep, that's a challenge. I can't make it alone. And you're likeliest candidate to come in this hellhole for months. Candidate for what? What is happening? Okay. Bones is like, oh, come on. What is it with you, anyway? <laughs> you think we're finished? More than ever. He's smiling. Sorry to wake you, sir. What is it? Starfleet urgently requests any day. Yes! Sulu, go help. Come on. I've missed Sulu. Oh, interesting. He's finding Klingon blood on their ship. Mm-hmm. Klingon blood. They must have walked through it when it was floating and tracked it back here. I remember it being in the the beam area when they beamed. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. We expand our search to include uniforms. Searching the uniforms, okay. Well, they're going at it. They mean business. <laughs> Wow, we're being very proactive. I'm glad. <laughs> sir! Sir! <gasps> they found the boot! Who? <laughs> Dax. Who is Dax? I don't even know who that is. Get off at the first level. Follow the gang into... What? <laughs> is she dressed like that? <laughs> That's hilarious. She's not playing around. Yes, Commander. What is the problem? Oh. oh. If shoe fits, wear it. Where's the check on? Uh, oh, dang. This is very intertwined. It's like a web of mystery. What kind of creature is this? Last night you two were. Don't remind me. 
Oh wait, she just turned into that? I thought it was her disguise. Okay. That's her outdoor, you know, self when she's going into the snow. Making a break for it, but I mean, do they have anyone at the surface? Oh, she's like a shapeshifter. That's pretty cool. Wow. Come on, we don't have a lot of time. I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> he he doesn't know how to feel. Quickly. Yeah, very quickly. Well, there they are, but they need to get out of there quick. Boy, <laughs> she's walking. Okay, what's the plan? There they are. They're emerging from the beaming shield. Mr. Scott, start your engine. Did they just know that they would pick their, up their signal? Wistic ledger domain and a degree of intrepidity before the captain and Dr. McCoy freeze to death. Mm hmm I'm finished. No! No! Bolt! I'm wearing a Viridian patch on my back. Spock slapped it there just before we went on Gorkin's ship. <sighs> Why that cunning little Vulcan? Come on! Come on, yeah. They'll be able to locate us two sectors away. If they're even looking for us. They are. Come on, Bones, be optimistic. <laughs> are they detecting them coming to get <laughs> coming to rescue them? Don't expect a response. We must respond personally. A universal translator would be ready. Well, they busted out every book. <laughs> They should have thought about this. What what are they saying? We is food. Things and supplies. It's not going so well, but it's fine. They're like Okay, are we, are we good? <laughs> that was great. She is quite the character. I thought you were mythic. Give a girl a chance, Captain. <laughs> I thought I would assume a pleasing shape. Yeah, which one's the real her? We're outside the shield. Now it's your turn, Captain. If you say so. Ah! Wow, why? Ask her what she's getting in return. A full pardon. Oh. I was wrong. Come on, Spawn. Good enough for one. Two would have looked suspicious. Kill one. Attempting two. escape. <laughs> now that's convincing for both. Like little mystique. Surprise! <laughs> Dang. Friends are late. They'll be along. I I guess I was hopeful she was good. Better. Kirk's <laughs> fighting with himself. Oh. There they are. Just so they can kill him, right? You broke out. Kill him, he's the one. Not me, you idiot. Him! Oh! Since you're all going to die anyway, why not tell you? His name is... No, not... Son of a... Yay, too late. Just in a nick of time, guys. Son of a... Couldn't you have waited two seconds, Captain? He was just about to explain the whole thing. We are still in Klingon space. Deck 9, remain at battle stations. 
Deck nine. What you working on, Scotty? He's gonna figure it out. Oh, is that where they're hiding it? It's a little, a little obvious though. What you can see in there. It'd be better if there was a painting over it. But. Ach, nicht klar. Ach, da. I don't think I'm wrong about him, though. The show of bitch up. The shoot up. The witch. Roger that. Okay. This is where things are going to start to unravel. No reason to believe that Gorkhan's murderers are aboard this vessel. I have a thought about that. Has the peace conference begun? Who knows? They're keeping the location secret. There's always something. Captain! Come on, Scotty. Uniforms with the Klingon blood on them. Oh, where are the culprits? First rule of assassination: kill the assassins. Okay. Back to square one. Can I talk to you? So who? Hmm. Would set off the alarm. Unless. What? There's got to be a unless. Is this? Who is this? Oh, I'm so curious. Is it her? Is it? I'm just suspecting everyone right now. No. Mm. The operation is over. Man. You cannot prove anything. Yes, I can. My trial. My personal log was used against me. Yep, yep. How long did you wait outside my quarters before I noticed you? <gasps> she was, because she came in and talked to him. You said so yourself. They killed your son. Did you not wish Gorkhan dead? Let them die, you said. Did I misinterpret you? No, but that was like a private... Your transmissions are jammed. Names of Hmm. I do not remember. I do not remember. You know she knows. He's <laughs> gonna mind meld. General. Shame. Oh, people on the council, right? Ugh, it's weird in a way. Is she able is he able to get that from her? Ugh! I don't know. He does not know. Okay. He, he had to try real hard. To... Even talking to us, violating the conditions. I'm sorry, Captain. Her message is breaking up. Oh. Where is the peace conference? They're going to attempt another assassination. The conference is at Camp Kittleman, near the Romulan border. He knows, okay. When does this conference start? According to my information, today. Today. I couldn't get past the death of my son. I was prejudiced by her accomplishments as a Vulcan. Gorkin had to die before I understood how prejudiced I was. See, so learned something. Is it possible that we two, you and I, have grown so old and so inflexible? We have outlived our usefulness. Oh, no. Would that constitute a joke? <laughs> we both know that I am not human. Mm. Everybody's human. Find that remark insulting. Insulting. I just love their friendship. The United Federation of Planets welcomes you. Time to take down the people who are involved, man. Close enough to beam down. Not yet, Captain. In two minutes. 158. Go to impulse power for Kittimer orbit. Definitely went into cloaking mode. Do that thing. Hmm. 48 seconds.
44. Countdown. Yeah, is, is this the guy that... Mm -hmm. Be honest, Captain. Warrior to warrior. You do prefer it this way, don't you? Oh, Chang, his name's Chang. He's one of the guys, so yeah. Once more unto the breach, dear friends. Knew he was involved. Incoming! Oh. In range? Come on, Sulu. Others said he had no choice. He's sweating bullets, man. <laughs> I'm sure he's probably one of the other guys. I don't know all the names of the people who connect them, but... Whoa, it's getting intense in there. Tickle us, do we not laugh? Prick us, do we not bleed? Wrong us. Shall we not revenge? Under impulse power, she expends fuel like any other vessel. Well, the thing's got to have a tailpipe. Doctor, would you care to assist me in performing surgery on a torpedo? Fascinating. <laughs> like, yes, I will. Within the 50 Earth year time span, phase one. They better hurry. Captain, she's packing quite a lot of <laughs> weakening. I just like seeing Scotty going, Captain, we're in trouble. Dang. Shoes up. All right. Now we've given him something else to shoot at. Aye, sir. Oh, they can detect them now. Ah. That's right. They already know. Oh, boy. Our revels now are ended, Kirk. They've got their shields up, though, right? Bones. <laughs> Where's my torpedo? Spinning in his chair. Wow, that was a big hit. That was not good. That is not good. <laughs> I'd give real money if he'd shut up. <laughs> An assimilation will consume... Great. The Klingon Empire, the ecological... Key, please. All right, guys. Where's that damn torpedo? She's ready, Jim. Good job. Fire. Yeah, he's ready for that. Ha. You weren't expecting that, were you? To be or not. Not to be, obviously. Yes. Fire. Fire. That's right. Take him down. Wow. <laughs> we did it. It would be my hope. They just gotta stop this guy now, though. Implement <laughs> the provisions of phase one no later than the first of next month. Scott. Come on. Hurry. They'll make it, but, you know. Get down. Mr. President! Ah! Kirk, Enterprise. Did he get him? So we know. We've got a full confession. Oh, they're gonna shoot her? No, yeah, Scotty! Good job, Scotty. That's what we needed. Ooh. What's the meaning of all of this? It's about the future, Madam Chancellor. Some people think the future means the end of history. He's okay. Good. <laughs> you restored my father's faith. And you've restored my son's. Hmm. That's good. They can have peace. Let's go, guys. Good job. <laughs> Aww. I love it. What was meant for evil was turned to good. Dang. Once again, we've saved civilization as we know. <laughs> Aww. Captain Kirk. Captain Sulu. Sulu, I want you to be with them, though. I Nice to see you in action one more time, Captain Kirk. Ugh. Take care. Oh my gosh! It's making me emotional. 
I think it's about time we got underway ourselves. No, oh, I don't. We're to put back to space dock immediately to be decommissioned. Oh, Kirk is not going to have this. No. <laughs> Be Why are they being decommissioned? Come on. I believe my response would be go to hell. See, Spock did it for him. That's right. We're not putting up with that. Second start of the ride. Mmm. And straight on till morning. Oh, and straight on till morning? That's where that came, comes from? Or is it from something else? And he's quoting it. Ah! Wait, is that from Peter Pan? I'm confused. <laughs> Somebody help me. Captain's log, star date. Uh. This is the final cruise of the Starship Enterprise under my command. There they are. This ship and her history. Except I, I kind of want Sulu to be there. They will continue the voyage as we have begun and journey to all the undiscovered countries boldly going where no man, Scott. where no one has gone before. They're gonna, they're gonna... Light speed off? No? Oh. They knew it was gonna be the end! George Sakai. Oh, it's their little autographs. Well, I can't read all of these. <laughs> Walter <laughs> Man. I love that they're doing their little autographs. Ah! Litter Nimoy. Wow. William Shatner. <laughs> This is reminding me of like the end of like what was Avengers? Didn't they do that at the end of Endgame? Wow! I feel emotional just to see it ending. I'm kind of glad I waited so long to watch these because uh, it just makes it more impactful. Um, that was really good. Definitely, I like this better than the last one. Not that the last one's horrible. It was just not. The story wasn't as involved, and this is really good. Really good. Uh, how would I rank them? Uh, definitely the Voyage Home was my favorite. Um, I do have a little little spot for like Wrath of Khan, Search for Spock, and then this, and then we go five, and then, oh wait, one, and then five would be last for me. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that was great, guys. Thank you so much for coming on this Star Trek journey with me. And I am I love to see how excited you guys are and what you like about the film. So I'll be reading your comments. And yeah, this was great. I'm just, I'm, it's the last one. It's sentimental for me. Uh, should I continue into this? I know there are others. We've got, uh, oh my gosh, I'm not going to remember his name right now. But, you know. Professor Xavier <laughs> in some Star Trek movies. So, I, you know, do you guys recommend those? I'm kind of curious. Let me know. I'm sure these are the best of the best, and the series was really good when I watched it, so I'm excited to watch more. Thanks for joining me for my Star Trek journey, guys. Thanks for coming along, and I look forward to watching some more movies with you. Uh, we will catch you next time on Popcorn Roulette.